Uh, how many vegans do you know? This is the question. Well, the answer is probably more than you think because there's a new survey printed today that uh, we're going to talk about that says the number of vegans in Britain has gone up by how much, Sarah Jane? A whopping 350%. Whopping. whopping. Absolute whopping. There are nearly half a million of them now uh, in the country. Well, actually more than half a million, they're saying, who will now follow a vegan diet. Well, what is a veg vegan diet? Vegans never consume any animal products at all. That means no meat, no fish, no milk. Well, I, be I believe they do consume cheese, but anyway, eggs and honey apparently off uh, limits as well. And, and people who follow veganism to the letter don't wear leather either. Uh, well, this surge in popularity for veganism is being led mostly by young people. Almost half of all vegans are between the ages of 15 and 34. Only 14% of vegans are over 65. And the vast majority of them live in built-up areas, urban or suburban areas, just 12% live in the countryside. Um, Yasmin uh, Debo, uh, Jasmine, sorry, Debo is with me here now. She's the chief executive of the Vegan Society. Um, so, you're on the march, you guys, and it's young people who are doing it for you. Yes, I think we're seeing a growth in uh, the population generally, but young people are more and more aware about the cruelty of animals and the harm done to the environment. So I think people are actually not willing to pay, take part in that anymore. And with the growth of a number of vegan products these days, uh, okay. you don't need to I, I you've miss got out. Cheese there as yes. well, because we were saying that cheese is off limits. Normally. Vegan so, cheese. Yes. So, so what have you got? What is what is vegan cheese made from? It could be a number of things, but sometimes they're soy based, sometimes they're other protein based, and sometimes they don't have any protein at all. It's just more the taste of cheese. Um, you can have cheese for pizza, slices, um, fake meat, um, vegan chocolate desserts, uh, a range of drinks. Um, Alpro is now available in any supermarket and people are actually able to find any product that they want uh, as a substitute. It must be very, very hard, Yasmin, being a vegan. I'm not finding it very difficult at all actually because there's so much choice these days. And I've been vegan for about 13 years. Um, I think London is vegan mecca, I have to say, but even in the rest of the country, you can find so many more vegan products these days. It's actually quite easy to follow a vegan diet. I think it's very hard, actually. I followed it for about six months, yeah. and I found it a little bit dull. The, little, the food's a bit bland when you can't add in all those other things. And um, I have a problem with some of those products because they are so processed, you almost wonder if you're eating something that's worse for you than if you were eating the natural dairy product for example. Actually dairy is quite processed as well, it's not that natural um, and uh, so you don't have to eat or drink these products, you could just drink other products that you want but some people want to have the substitute and actually uh, nut milks are quite natural um, so you can make your own nut milk, I do that myself as well. So. Yeah, well, there is a, a big worry. I mean, there's a story in the paper today, uh, the headline, Fashionable Veganism is Harming Health of Ill-Informed Followers. Because a lot of people are taking up uh, veganism now for moral issues, animal cruelty, or because they don't know what goes into the food that we eat in general, processed meat and the like. Mm. Um, but they're not doing it properly, because surely you can't get all the nutrients you need from the products you've got in front of you and just a diet of vegetables, fruit and lentils. Well, you do get all the nutrients that you need. Uh, it's interesting, the article, that uh, it's from the uh, dietitian Catherine Collins, BDA. We actually have a very good working relationship with the BDA as the Vegan Society, and we have a memorandum of agreement uh, together that all uh, large stages and ages can be having a vegan diet uh, if you plan it well. Of course, these products are just a sample of what you can eat, but if you eat a very well-planned diet with vegetables and fruit, um, a whole base grains and you actually get everything it's quite you need. It's quite expensive actually some of those products. Some I, of I these, bought um, yeah. a vegan yogurt yesterday, like yeah. a coconut yogurt, and it was like a little pot like that, a normal size yogurt pot, two pounds. Yeah. That's quite a lot of money. There, there is still some of that that uh, is slightly more expensive. However, if you go to other sh uh, shops and the normal yogurts, the big pots are almost the same price, I would say. And you don't need the indulgent products uh, to have a le healthy, ba balanced well, diet. Yes, I think I see. Is that soap I see there as well? Yes, I've, I've got some soap here. So, is there anything there? I, I'm just a bit peckish. Is there anything I can be nibbling on here just while we're talking? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> because I, I really just, I suppose, so, what's so this? Th this is some raw chocolate mulberry. Raw uh, yeah. chocolate mulberry sorry okay well tell me this how much is about you and the health of the individual and how much is about the treatment of animals that you're worried about here 
But for me, it's not mainly the animals, but it's also the environment and, and my own health. I feel much healthier on a, on a vegan diet. Uh, but it's actually much more about the cruelty to animals. 60 billion animals are killed every year for food. Uh, a trillion marine animals are killed. And I think people are not really aware of all the cruelty that's involved in factory right. farming. How are you, Mulberries? I think you're very, very principled. I think when we get into, I think the mulberries are nice. It's interesting. Yeah. My palate would be so attuned to synthetic chocolate. Mm that that's very strong to me, yes. the, the yes. real chocolate. So yes. it probably takes a while to get used to what's there. Possibly. This By the is end of the packet, you'll be well. convinced. <laughs> it, it is raw, so not everyone likes it. This is kind of the more uh, standard chocolate that, that you might expect. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so that's uh, just well, look, a range of examples. That's uh, Yasmin uh, Debo there, and she is CEO of the Vegan Society, and they are on the march. Are you one of them? Let us know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got some goals after the break.